Hello, and welcome to this video lesson on Basic Disk Analysis Using WinHex. By now, you may be asking, am I really going to have to do all of this manually? Is this really difficult? Are there any tools that can help me? Are there any tools you suggest I use? The answers to those questions are, you can use WinHex to help with all of that. You can use it to analyze and parse everything. WinHex has predefined templates, which can only be found in View Templates Manager. Here you can see the templates that the WinHex developers predefined and can simply use and apply them. For example, let's go to Starting Sector, which is the MBR, and go to View, Templates Manager, and apply the Master Boot record. It will give us this result. Additionally, if you right-click on Start Sector and then select Template, WinHex will load a suitable template for this data structure or for this structure, which is the MBR. Here, we can see we have an offset of zero, the master bootstrap loader, and other details. These are all for 446 bytes. Below, we see the start of the partition table entries. Here we have partition table entry number one, which is active. Eight are active. We also have the starting head, starting sector, and cylinder, as well as partition type 07, which is a DFS, and WinHex says that it's an NTFS. One thing to be aware of as WinHex was opened with administrator permissions is that the value can be modified. Be extra careful, especially when you're dealing with WinHex on a live disk. Moving on, we have here 130 for the end head, 18 for the end sector, 47 for the ending cylinder. If we go to Notepad, we can see the LBA, and here's the sector preceding partition number 1. We have 2048, and this one here is the sectors in the partition. They are actually the same. We can also see all the details here for partition table number 2 with all of its details, and same for partition entry number 3 with all of its details. Let's pause what we're doing manually and go ahead and use some navigation tools that are not available in WinHex. First, I'm going to write down and take note of a couple of things for partition number 1. We have 716, which is the size, and it starts at 2048. Since partition 1 is located 2048 sectors ahead, we can use this button to get to that sector. Let's enter 2048 and click OK. As you can see, we arrived at the first partition, which is at 2048. And if you notice here, it's also 2048. So now if we add the number of sectors that are in the partition from this location, which was 716,800, we are supposed to reach partition number 2. Now from our current position, we need to move this number of sectors. Let's go ahead and click OK. So we have reached the second partition. If we go back a bit, we know that the second partition had this number of sectors. Let's go ahead and take it, and we'll add this one, which is already converted. From our current position, if we add this, it will take us to partition number 3 and it took us exactly there. We want to make sure that all of this is correct, so let's go back, and we can either go to the sector, or we can do all of this from here. We need to go to the partition. We have 20, 48 converted to this amount, so we need to go to this partition, this sector from the beginning. Again, this takes us to the first partition, which is this one. Let's highlight this one, just the position, just so we can make sure that this is truly partition number one. Let's add a position and give it a description.
Let's also give it a color. I'm going to select red. Now, let's go back to the beginning. As you may recall, partition 1 is 716800 in sectors. Let me go show you how to do it. Now, if we take the value for the number of sectors, which is 716,800, input that into the calculator and convert it to hex, we get AF000. Let's go ahead and copy this value. Now, let's go back to WinHex and click on the Go to Offset button. Now, let's select the Current Position option and paste in our converted value, which means we need to move this amount of sectors. Let's go ahead and click the OK button. And this has taken us directly to partition number 2. Let's also add a position to partition number 2. So now we have partition number 2. Now that we know partition number 2 is this number of sectors long, let me quickly show you how to convert it to hex. So, if we take that one and convert it to hex, we get this value. Also, from this current position, we want to move this number of sectors. This takes us exactly to partition 3, which is where the cursor is. If you made a mistake, you can always hit the back button. Say you want to go to this exact value, go to this sector, current position, and it took us to partition number 3. Let's mark this one and add 3 as the position number. Now we have partition number 3. If you notice, we can use these buttons to move the offset, and you can even move by bytes, but make sure the amount is exact. We also have the option to move by words, double words, and sectors. One thing to notice is that if you go to the start sector, which is the beginning, and go to partition 1, we are supposed to see the red position. If we go to partition number 2, we are supposed to see the green partition, and if we go to partition number 3, we should see the blue partition, which proves that our navigation and parsing is correct. In this video, we applied a template and used WinHex to get details. We'll revisit the partition later when we'll apply another template, so we can get the volume boot record for the NTFS file system. This will be in one of Module 5's videos. But that's it for now. I'm glad I got to show you more new features about WinHex and demonstrate how useful it can be when you're going to analyze the disk. This concludes our video lesson on basic disk analysis using WinHex. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.